going, darling? Oh, hello. Hey. Howdy. We're, we're Manu and Max. And after living in the city for two years... Max and Manu. Manu and Max. Manu and Max. That's the name of our channel. Okay, let's go again. And after saving up for two years, we were able to buy our very own sailboat. And so today... What's it called? Pelican. Pelican. She's a Beneteau Oceanus 390 with three cabins, two heads. And today we've decided to give you a little tour because when we were boat shopping, we would have loved to see a couple boat videos. And About a Beneteau Oceanus 390, 1989. Yeah. Yeah, very cozy boat and we'll show you around today just so you get a sense of what we're living in. Welcome to our tiny home. A tiny Welcome floating home. Welcome to my cribs. For the, do you remember that show? <laughs> The smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Franklin D. Roosevelt, 50th president of the United States. I actually don't know what number he was. He's probably much later. Probably like 70, 80. I'm now in cabin number two, or our bedroom. And I quite like it because it's very cozy, you see? Come in here, come in here. As you can see, it's beautifully painted by Manu. All the, all, the, all the stuff has been taken off and painted. Yeah. And this really is a such, this way better look. It used to have this achy headliner that you'll see from the next room. Yeah. From and we one. removed it and now it looks better. We're gonna open our window, that's what we do every morning. Look outside, make sure the boat next door to us is still there. <laughs> but anyway, the most interesting part of this is how I get out of bed in the morning. So, step one is put on the helmet. <laughs> Now that the helmet is on, I can get into bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then I'm in bed. When I get out, this is the hard part. That's for the hard part. That's why you get up like this, you hit it there once. <laughs> then you hit it out again. There you go. I'm out. And then here's the third one in the morning. You know? Here we go. That's how, and that's how I get out of bed in the morning. The struggle. Always, I'm free. always have one of these. If you're over six foot, one of these. <laughs> Next off is the guest room, also known as cabin number two. And slash Starlink room. Starlink room. There's still some cables. Guys, this is a working progress here. Like obviously this boat is still being fixed up and stuff as we learn. But for now it's the guest room, starling room and a battery compartment with all our solar panel system sure. and solar charge controller. And this is where our friends will come and join us whenever they come visit us. Very spacious, Yeah. very comfortable. Like you saw in the other room, we got rid of the headliner and painted it. This one still has them because it was a bit of a project and we don't think it's a requirement to get us sailing. Did you fart? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> and we didn't think this was a requirement, so it's still there and we'll take care of this project another time. Right now, all the projects that we're working on are things that are essential to get us cruising. This is not one of them. Next off is the kitchen, also known as the galley. This is where we cook all our food. We love to eat. We love to cook. And this is where my coffee machine takes half of the space. I know. She's here to stick around. Guys, I need good coffee in the morning and she's been providing my happiness and joy every morning. Max does not approve. <laughs> I don't approve. <laughs> Take us through the cabin. What have we got in there? Here we have salt, olive oil, other essentials, our spatulas our bowls and cups and glasses our vitamins oh, talking about that i need to take my little vitamin d mm. one drop a day keeps the doctor away some other um tupperwares. tupperwares and our pots and pans we got a propane gas stove yeah propane gas and and uh we never yet to use the oven no not yet but don't you worry it will happen this then gimbals as well, if we're out oh, at sea. Oh, look at that. I never knew that. You did it? And these are our fridge. We have two fridge, one refrigerator and one freezer. We have to run that on the solar. We have to run her Delonghi on the solar. Mm -hmm. 
And then here, guys, we have all our food. Whoa, look at all that food. Peanut butter, an essential. Whoa. Nutella, not that much of an essential Whoa. I just had. It was just that time of the month and I had to get Nutella. The essential matcha, all the goodies. They're hidden in here. Here is our um, forks and knives and utensils. Okay, I'm gonna take you into my favorite area of the boat, the saloon. This is where I like to kick back, relax, watch a movie, drink a beer, reminisce about the good times I've been spending on this boat. This is actually where we spend probably spend 90% of the time on our boat. When we go sailing, you'll be out there in the cockpit. Yeah, I'll be in here, she'll be out there in the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. This is uh, you know, plenty of storage. We removed one of the waste tanks, so we've got plenty of storage, as you can see. Extra clothes. That we have to put in bags. Clarinet. Ooh, give us a little, give us a little tune. The clarinet's coming out, guys. This is clarinet music. This is clarinet music. Yeah. yeah. be serenaded like that to bed every night yeah, I loved it babe that was so good he just started learning it like so. a year ago two years ago yeah but you know it's on and off we're back the saloon one thing I don't like about this boat is the amount of space we have here we saw a similar Catalina and this this was pushed all the way back so you had much more room in the middle um, and has and had cabinets all here, so yeah. we do have less. It's just the weird thing about this, where you just have all this space that, like, I guess, to put pictures and, and memories, dream trucks, dream trucks and pictures. And weights. Moving on, we have the nav station. I can sit here, do my chart plotting. I'm plotting charts. Bam, bam, bam. Used to have a TV up here. We replaced it with this kind of these. One of the best things we have with little um, hooks that we can keep all our stuff on. Got my fan actually. Turn it on. Look how quiet that is. Dance, dance, I see you. <laughs> Max is obsessed with his fan. Twenty bucks on Amazon. Uh, we've got an inverter, like a little outdoor charge station that we can take with us anywhere we want to go. Does AC and DC, so we can just charge this up, take it out on the dinghy, and we can have power all day. But we've got our AIS up here, just behind all this stuff, VHF radio, and a book that our neighbors gave us. A book that our neighbors did. That's actually so by interesting. By our neighbors. What? Signed by our neighbors. So whenever I'm getting, you know, end of the day, long day at work, long day sailing, I like to come in here and. Uh, the lights on but the original reason i got these led lights and thought they'd be important is i can put them on red and i can have them really low and that's just there for safety because when we're doing passages at night we can have uh like these strips of going up and down the thing you know you know wait it gives you like a frame of rest reference if it's pitch black down here you don't want to have the lights on because someone's sleeping the red really is like you know it's a low light but you can kind of make your way around my wildlife photo camera. I take my photos with my birds. Birds? I take bird photos. When he retires and he's an older person, he's definitely gonna be like a, a really big bird watcher and go find the birds. Just like, you know, collect them like Pokemons. I guarantee. I'm a, I'm a 70 year old man trapped in a 27 year old body. Yeah, so let's show the head quickly. It's right here. Yep. This is a fun one because I spent an afternoon removing it. But it used to be here, but now look at all the space. I can now put my foot here. And take a proper shower. Uh, one stupid design flaw is that this is where you put the shower. You stick it up here, but it's right next to the light. It just seems like such a strange... A hazard. Yeah. 
Hi, babe. Didn't see you there. Hi there. This is how the shower works. Since you're here, I might as well tell you that uh, you can uh, like, comment, and subscribe. That will uh, do us a lot of favors. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Oh, it's really hot in here. And that's a perfect transition to show you our AC compartment. Wow, this is the best bit. And now... What is this room called? The mess hall. If you get the reference, you get the reference. I'm embarrassed. I'd be too. Different this is track. where she sleeps. Can you believe that, guys? <laughs> she likes... This is my room. <laughs> this is where she sleeps. Ow. Ah. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Uh, you really bump your head everywhere, don't you? You Go. should have taken your helmet here. If you guys have an idea of how to organize your boat garage, please let me know because uh, we don't, we're, it's messy in here. We're struggling. It's, uh, there's tools, there's fishing rods, there's halyards, there's our solar panels. And last but not least, head number two, where we go to the bathroom. Look at it. So we had one of these in the other room. Yeah. We replaced all of this stuff. All the tube was replaced. All this stuff. Yeah, there, there you go. You sit down. Poop. Yeah, one of the sinks, tubes, and through hole is broken. Like it doesn't stop it and and let it flow. So we, for now, the temporary solution is, is to put a, a wooden plug. But this is definitely needing to be changed eventually. We'll have to haul out our boat and um, and change it. But. I mean, we don't need to haul out before we leave, so this might stick around until we get to the Caribbean and do it there. Hey there. I'm just coming in from the companionway out to deck to give you a little tour of the outside of our beautiful boat. As you can see, we don't have a bimini, which is uh, kind of sucks. But we've got, we've got our good friend Janie. She's building us, making us a bimini, which is gonna be tan, tan with navy trim on the side it's gonna look amazing and uh, we've got some sonar panels we're not gonna do the renology it's a hard hard set of panels in the end we're gonna go for six technology a really thin they can kind of stick on the top of the other bimini because we have no space here this is where we steer it's called the helm I'm at the helm right now steering we've got autopilot which is beautiful got a little table here we've got a look all the Benetos you know because they're French they were alcoholic so they love their wine so that's where they keep their wine we use it for storage here's our outboard our bull crane all that good good stuff it's gonna see of Elon Musk okay so now we're done with the cockpit I'm sure I've missed some stuff but let's go have a look around that other side. as you can see we haven't put our jib up yet we took it off for hurricane season because our good neighbor Klaus, who we're going sailing with him next video. I have uh, Uncle Klaus, you'll meet him. He told he was taking down his jib and I was like, wow, why are you doing that? Hurricane season was the first thing to get ripped up is the jib. Got an um, anchor. Do you want to come see the mantis? 55 pounds. Come around. Oh, this is our friend Jack and his brother William is hanging in there. Babe, did you hear my, my joke? Hanging in he's, there. In, he's hanging in there. Hey. About the Oceanus 390 this year is that you can see the bow comes out of the water. It doesn't sit in the water. Look, look how it comes out the water. That was the final bit of our outdoor tour. Um, thank you for joining us. I hope you liked our boat. I hope it's, you know, it's not in perfect condition. She is 40 years old. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys being here with us. So that was the boat tour for us. Um, if you're interested in the Beneteau Oceanus, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any tips and tricks or ideas for us, like we're super open because we're beginners obviously and we're really open to any suggestions. And I wanna make this boat as efficient as possible while we're out in sea. Says the one with the cafeteria coffee. <laughs> it takes up all the space. Yeah. Shh, bye. Can I have some more, please? Some more what? Chocolate chippies. You like the chocolate chippies, my love? Come on, put your head back. Ew! Ah. 
so bougie. I use a coffee chair. Uh, it says the DeLonghi. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I have one peeve. One peeve on the boat. And that's uh, wearing shoes inside. And Manu just doesn't listen, even today. 